July the 21st, 2022. Uh, you know what? I decided today I am going to record the truth about the Third World War. Where and how did the World War II came to life? Who was the most deserved for the World War II? The most deserved for the World War II from a perspective of United States of America, that's basically a self-prejudice that a system had built in each and every one of you. I have refused to have this self-prejudice installed in my system. And that is despite 25 years of brainwash, 25 years of physical torture, which involved human trafficking and so-called procedure MKUltra. More than anything, this was a drugs that were used uh, exhaust the system, including the immune system, to close to zero. Mental health and immune system, body as whole, drained over and over and over again. That's how American police state works, drains you to nothing, and they are trying to install in your plate new program which is going to be completely standardized in full compliance with whatever the main goals of the state are. Vladimir Putin came to power literally. That's how the World War III commenced. Vladimir Putin came to power literally thanks to three of which one yeah but the two were very very unlikely sources number one source that financed it all and already was involved in neo-nazi history in imperialism slavery I don't have to discuss who that will be, but you can go and you can see yourself. You can research the internet. London would be a good beginning. I'm sure you know who exactly I am aiming at. Then it was a second source, very unlikely source. It was the country that refused cooperation with the Nazis. Western nation, however, Western qualified as a non-Slavic Western nation, it was Greece. They refused to cooperate. They refused to give in, even when they lured them in post-World War period into a very lucrative uh, deals. Not everybody was on the same coin, but eventually, with a hefty offer from European Union, known as a Greek bailout, was a tremendous financial transfer to Greece, so that Greece stepped on the side of this global Nazism, which according from Vladimir Putin, who was the main sponsor of the Greek state since 1995, he have chosen for a transport, for shipping, for shipments, a Greek companies, petroleum, oil, minerals, trade, with combine with Greek bailout, they probably have earned close to trillion dollar profits in profits. Greek Greece was probably maybe I don't know, but this was maybe the third, maybe the most country that financially profited. Okay, maybe I am. Yeah, maybe. 
because France didn't get any kind of bailouts and stuff like this. They had to pay for that kind of stuff for the Greeks. Most profiteering country since 95 when it comes to Russia. And the one who supported Greece, who was standing behind Greece, that was exactly Prince Charles, Queen Elizabeth, Prince Andrew. They have a long established relations with Western world due to vacationing elites would spend in Greece regularly they would go to Greece the second source very unlikely which tremendously helped out Putin was in the center of the human rights issues in the United States of America not difficult to imagine the one who suffered the most through human slavery the one who was kept on the bottom of the social ladder longer than anybody and have paid bigger price for freedom than anybody did well at least let's say in a terms of timing that black people were enslaved mistreated discriminated against as long as it was uh it was allowed basically to take advantage of them so now that's a really really surprising factor but those are the three extremely important factors that vladimir putin have used for war on Ukraine, for war on other countries, including Chechnya, for war on God knows what other countries are going to open the opportunity for Putin to declare war on. We can see now eventually under a black disguise of human rights issues, something they have inherited from the past just as prince harry prince william have inherited from the past their royal titles entitlements basically to financial resources they have inherited the right to sponsor even exchange with people such as uh, merchant of debt that's what they are trying that's what they are up to now they are now they want they want to start swiping we didn't get up to here yet They don't like to swipe now. It's it became it became a it became modern to go to Russia to get a contract or go for a visit in agreement with the United States of America government. In agreement with a US Congress, in agreement with White House, in agreement with American human rights organizations, they became modern to go to Russia and arrange future swipe with the Russian government if the Russian government is willing to pay for it. And you would commit something that you would be sentenced for it on what the Russians who sponsor this kind of stuff with a full authorization from the government of the United States of America would select well in this case you can see this guy here as a swap option as a swap option 
So it would be a basketball player for this serial killer that you see right here. Vladimir Putin would get back. And it was not he alone. It's a lot of stuff like this that goes around. It's a lot of stuff like this that went on. They have sent to Ukraine people who literally have acted like a volunteers on Ukrainian Russian front, but have instead betrayed their fellows, who as a result got killed. Uh, some of which even then attempted swipe again. And so we have a major conflict of interests here, major conflict of worlds here. We have a group of people talking about you, Black Lives Matters, talking about the black people, you specifically, because as I stated, you came from the bottom of the ladder. And it's United States of America became accustomed, it became conventional, standardized. That's why I have this here open. It's not because it would be here by coincidence or something like this. It just became stereotypical to assume that black person, due to its past, due to his or her past, talking about organizations, its past never ever would cross the line concerning human rights. Well, when you look at the stuff like this, not only my own case, not only my own case, during which blacks expressed full support for torture, full support for psychiatry, full support for the Serbs, for the Russians, to ignite another war on Balkans, the main goal of Vladimir Putin, Serbian Alexander Vucic, Karadzic, Milosevic of these people, was a second coming war in the Balkans, again against the Bosnian people, Croat people, Slovenian people, Macedonian people, and others, whoever would not agree with this war. They were used as a main tool, as a number one tool, as a number one weapon of Vladimir Putin, of the Serbian, not only the Russian, but Serbian, great Serbian ideology known as Yugoslavia in the past, which declared war in 91 in 90 against four other nations they were engaging in ethnic cleansing in a genocide clearly against albanian and kosovo people bosnian people croat people and they came to slovenia openly they declared on us they came here to wipe us out exactly what you're seeing right now is taking place in ukraine now, I know my country is small, Croatia too, Bosnia too, I know. And so I assume that because it's small, it didn't matter that much to black people. Definitely didn't. They searched for bigger proof. And bigger proof became their chance, their breakthrough, a reality of today. World War III, it's what we see is taking place in Ukraine. They worked hard, they lied a lot, they tortured a lot. Nothing hurt more, however, than their lies. But they made progress from Vladimir Putin, and the progress can be seen today in Ukraine. As I stated, today is July the 21st, 2021, and I wouldn't go, ladies and gentlemen, and stereotype, categorize myself into a category 
standardize myself into a category which prohibits me to see a group of people in the United States of America that in fact should take charge, lead in human rights initiative for all other people, not only for people of color, but for all other people. Black people should be example for everyone in the United States of America. They should be example for the law and order in the name of human rights, in the name of Martin Luther King, in the name of equality, which they have fought for since the beginning of the United States and have in fact used those to cover Russian brutality against me for no less than 28 years. They assisted Belgrade, they assisted Moscow so they could torture. They used the human rights to extort, to blackmail, to even death threaten people who were unwilling to submit themselves to this type of attitude, to this type of, you know, whether you're not going to see him as a neo Nazi, as a, whether you're not going to see him as a fascist. Even that statements and behavior they obtained through the use of torture, beatings, death threats, disallowing me to sleep, interrogation methods which are used and were used literally in Guantanamo. They were used in, Guant in, in Afghanistan on a prison, basically military techniques supported by American government, which supplied them with drugs, whatever is necessary to complete job known as MK Ultra, so that they could open up a new front, a new way. of viewing reality, giving themselves a capacity, giving themselves entitlement basically to using credentials from the past, using exploitation credentials from the past to literally deprive a normal individual of his right to exist, to existence. Therefore, we can, I can clearly say that black people in the United States at large engaged in a genocide against me. Therefore, as many people know, it's not only about myself. They are a problem in the United States of America and a bigger problem than other racial groups may be the problem bigger than other racial groups because of their past, which is very sensitive. However, a problem which have used their credentials from the past, human rights related issues, anywhere from agencies, organizations, political front, on both sides, in Republican and in Democrat party, to steer my case in direction of Vladimir Putin to degree that no human rights agency, no government agency, no court would smell me after the right to existence was completely denied to me, I'm talking about employment, the right to employment, consequently brought me from a threats about with psychiatry. That's how it all started. 
It started with the beatings, it started with the threats. Eventually, even started with, as I have written down here, it even started with the Vald Juricic. It even started with the Method Trobitz. I was sure that it was Milan Kuchan who came up with idea to get me for world to see me if only placed dropped up next to serial killers as one I was pretty sure this all this shit was his idea now I actually even doubt about that kind of stuff they did everything malicious in their legacy to assist Vladimir Putin they did absolutely everything malicious that possibly could be done against someone to destroy to ruin him ruin his life on every step of the way to bury him alive and blacks did this for 28 years for Vladimir Putin yet Vladimir Putin who declared the war on Ukraine he is fighting the war on Ukraine with idea to settle in arms of the black people as soon as the war is over to basically nix the idea about himself which also concerns him because he aligned himself also to that other category he also aligned himself to the people from London he aligned himself to other royalties interested in imperialistic ways in imperialism to get his machinery going to get weaponry updated to be financially enough secured we are foremost talking about past we're talking about the World War II so that he could obviously run this operation and it's exactly these people that should be the most vocal again I'm talking about the black people in the US who should protest against Putin who should take a hard stand against one that have not only failed but just as was my case through which they have earned tremendous amount of money they created several many black millionaires and even billionaires sold themselves sold their past in a likewise way in a same in a very same fashion in a very same form it's exactly what they're doing now to ukraine now we see swiping of prisoners we have seen enormous backlash against Ukraine. Surprisingly, even from African continent, rather than expressing eagerness for assistance for the sake of someone, who probably have a much greater ordeal, existence ordeal, than the black people in the United States of America. I'm talking about Ukrainian people whose territory today, even if Crimea and Donetsk wouldn't be missing, still, what we see on map is still reduced to half. Joseph Stalin murdered, starved to death, over 10 million Ukrainians, Joseph Stalin did this alone. 
and a territory just as big as Ukraine today is missing from Ukraine. And I don't see this anywhere on African continent. I don't see this, anything like this, in the U.S. All true, it was bad, as I stated. And I'm not making fun of your past. I'm not making fun of your suffering. I'm just refusing to standardize myself to police myself, to categorize myself into a category of the people which will simply stereotype myself or a category of people who stereotypes itself with a prejudice against itself to keep silent, to keep quiet to keep blind from what is obvious. That's the only thing I'm trying to do. I'm trying to open your, your eyes for you to see that your, your dealings are wrong. What you're doing at this point in time is wrong. Your raw and weight issue is identical to all the protests you Black Lives Matters have exercised during Donald Trump's presidency when I was trying to get my case out. My case is the worst case in the U.S. history, in a modern U.S. history, definitely, in respect to human rights violations. I'm not going to say there is nothing on a Bill of Rights or your, or your Constitution or whatever that would not contradict my experience in the United States as a U.S. citizen I became in 2000. Naturalized citizen. But I would say each one of those issues you have written in your, in your U.S. Constitution was violated a thousand times, each one. And you have done a tremendous rum pum pum you did a lot of noise, you did a big noise, a rum pum pum you did. Through the media, through everywhere in the streets, you you protested, but you, nobody understood what, what exactly, nothing really was clear about what exactly went on. But you did this with a clear intention to cover the truth from evident. Because the more I worked to get the truth out, as you became, you yourself became this wall of saw nothing, heard nothing, know nothing. This Soviet-style murderous wall you became. The more you protested, just as the case recently, and it doesn't only involve you, it involves Ron Wade and issues like this. And it's hilarious. It's completely hilarious because you align yourself to the people. What can I say? To the source unlikely because of whom Vladimir Putin became to power. You are one of the main reasons. This is also why this video. You're one of the main reasons for war in Ukraine. But this is not war in Ukraine. You know what this is. I'm going to repeat to you. This is a World War III. That's why I refuse to stereotype myself. That's why I refuse to blind myself, to, close, to keep my eyes closed. I'm not going to go into your category. You're not going to police me. You did a lot of evil to me. You exhaust my body, my soul, everything. Numerous times, this is why you brought me to Slovenia. That was the reason you participated in this. You observed this stuff and everything was okay to you. You yourself aligned to the people like this for your own interests, which are much more important to you than the interests you are displaying publicly with your protests and your media. 
that looks exactly like this. Your daily dose of media, of the true, of the mainstream media, it's basically what is delivered to the people. This thing here is, when people read news, like it was about Roe and Wade, that's exactly what they get. Your protests, all this stuff you do, it's exactly what you've seen right there. That's exactly what it equals to. It exactly equals to this thing here. Exactly to that truck. It equals to lies. You fabricate. So what is due, what is more than just due, gives evil hope to read itself somehow, right? That's what you're in the game. You're in a game to assist these people here. That's what you're in a game. That's what you get paid for. That's what you blacks get paid for. That's why I said, you started the World War III. You are the one, you are the jump starter with the grease. I'm not surprised about these people here, but I am shocked that you're on board, that money is more important to you, I am shocked that you think by murdering people, decent, good people, normal people, all through a smaller nation like mine, I'm Slovenian, it's just two million people. Yesterday I was the one who was not worth shit. Because money was greater in Russia, opportunities were better. Today is Ukraine and other countries already, thanks to you. I just want you to know it's thanks to you. You brought us to this level. You blacks did. You are the epicenter of the human rights in the United States of America. And thus, not only you covered up for them, but you also engaged, you helped to torture. You gave them all the assistant, assistance. You gave your credentials. In other words, you lied so they could go through with their plan and i want this as i say i refuse to categorize to standardize myself world to know about this stuff this is very very important for me you cook this problem this is this is on your shoulder this problem that we see in ukraine you did this stuff And you continue to do this stuff. You, you created false, fake. You created false. You created fake cases. Which... You trigger each time whenever I condemn you. With idea to cover the truth with more lies. It's your way to retaliate. It's your way to revenge. It's your way to lie. It became your standard, your way of life. It's to lie. It's about the black lies matters and it's not about the human rights anymore. It's your human rights that murder, that slaughter not only people like myself, but entire nations. You are a jump starter of the World War III. This is also the news today. When I acknowledge you that surfaced up, when I published this news here, and it was the news that immediately sur surfaced up. It was like a way to retaliate, basically, to we're going to give you back. If you're going to say something like this, then basically that's what we're going to do. The only thing that's going to happen is we're going to retaliate you. We're going to retaliate against you.
your politic more than not became a politic of the gangsters this is how the gangster corporations are around you just as i stated you are completely completely indifferent you are totally indifferent from those who inherited royal titles you have much more in common you have much more in common with them than what you have with what you preach in the name of human rights and so on and so forth i don't know how this war is going to come through in the ukraine but i want you to know you have everything to do with it vladimir putin could not have started this war world did pay tremendous attention to you africa did many parts of the world did including myself who have harbored you at my best during donald trump is presidency but eventually the time came that the whole thing is growing into the world war three and you have done nothing but step steps forward in direction of vladimir putin in direction of post ukrainian occupation in direction of more wars that are going to open in the region and consequently throughout the world throughout the globe it's called the world war three and you're completely deserved you have absolutely everything in it your fingers are covered with the blood you are deserved for this stuff this is this is the blood on your hands you did this stuff you did it your people did mike tyson did evander holyfield did all your sports people all your legends all your hollywood people all your icons that you have your human rights people grandsons of martin luther king involved in this stuff you jump started world war three which eventually is gonna pour on your hands eventually karma is a bitch and it goes around today it's me tomorrow it's you but it's actually somebody else and some nation here and there and back and forth but eventually karma is a bitch and is going to turn in your direction and history will hunt you for the stuff you do row and wait i was sure hoping i'm never going to have to do the video like this sure i was hoping i'm never going to have to do a video like this this is maybe your hope and your hope's name is Meghan Merkel for whom you guys claimed me she's going to become a president she's going to be the one who's going to bail this disasters here for which my life had to be ruined for which lives of other decent people had to be ruined and you think this is going to be the politic that you're going to run some kind of a schizophrenic politic in front of the world you're going to create a bogus a fake cases a lies you're going to reverse decisions so that somebody magical is going to come is going to step on a political podium on a stage and is going to again reverse them into direction and be credited for something that should never ever be the case and people have to come to fix your shit literally from england literally from britain you are a ripper of u.s constitution of bill of rights and you're blacks you're the one because of whom no you're not the one because of whom the human rights 
progress. Human rights progress because of others, not because of you. But you should remain a pillar because you are also liberated by others because of those others that I stated. You should at least remain a pillar, a fundament, something that is more related to the human rights in the U.S. than any other group. But then again, now that's a prejudice against myself, which I have declined to standardize myself in a group of people that are going to be policed. They're going to keep their eyes closed, covered with one vision, with a self-prejudice to see what is evident. You failed in your modern legacy. I don't know. I would give you a words of hope. I would love to give you something encouraging, something inspirational. But I'm so much disgusted with you. And it's not only myself. It's other people too. That I had this opportunity. I don't really know what to tell you. Keep up a good job. Keep up a great job. Keep up a great job. Great job is that's going to take you far. It's this kind of work you see right here that's going to take you further. It's this kind of stuff that's going to open you more opportunities for more that can be done, for more that you can earn, for maybe another even Vladimir Putin that's going to be searching, you know, maybe for another royal that's going to be searching for your help, for your assistance, for your entitled, inherited credentials. Even in the even if in the name of only human rights of your exploitation slavery from the past after all nobody gives a fuck about it right it's all about the money I get it okay that's all I wanted to say to you on this video when it comes to Greece I don't have anything to add this was the country the least likely that would settle for neo-nazi swastika but the thing about it is they are orthodox just like russians serbs and ukrainians but then again fuck ukrainians and bulgarians and romanians they are too small you make no money with them it's not profitable you gotta go with the flow so I get it. You too went with the flow. It's a human rights for sale. It's called cash for lies. But this video is going to remain here. And my case is going to remain here. Whichever way you're going to go, my case is going to remain here. These words are going to stay on the internet. They're going to stay everywhere. I don't give a fuck about your Democrats, about your threats, how you're going to this and how you're going to that. The more you're going to rip the true, the more the true is going to reverberate. The more the true is going to sing. Eventually it's going to come out and it's going to sing in your ears for a very long time. For as long as you're going to exist in you and in your future generations. Because it's not only about me. It's about other nations. It's about other countries. It's about the World War III. You jump started.